my friends, it's time for a story. And I have another one of those National Geographic kids books. This one is about ants. And I don't know about you guys, but I know that I have been seeing a lot of ants when I've been outside. Now, before we learn a little bit more about ants, let's get our bodies ready for the story. Everybody put your hands up. Nice job. And we'll sing, oh, Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, place them on your lap, lap, lap. Nice job, boys and girls. You are all looking ready to learn more about ants. So the title of our book is Ants. And the author is Melissa Stewart. And in this book, there's real pictures of ants. It's very interesting. Oh, so when I open it, this page right here is the table of contents. It tells us all the different things this book is going to teach us about. I'm gonna open it and it says, ants all around. Do you know how many ants live in the world? Wow, there are more than 10 quadrillion. Oh my goodness, 10 quadrillion. You see this number right here? That's quadrillion. That's a lot of ants. Ants live in fields and forests. They live under sidewalks too. Ants are everywhere. An ant is an active insect, okay? It has two large eyes to see the world. It has a super tough jaw, right here, the jaw, like we have a jaw right here, helps our teeth go up and down. It's super tough jaws munch and crunch. It has long feelers right here, like the antennas, to touch and tap. It has six strong legs, so six legs, to creep and crawl, and it has a tiny waist to bend and wiggle through tunnels. Ants at home. One ant, two ants, three ants, four. See one ant and you'll see lots more. Ants live in large groups. A group of ants is called a colony. If you look closely, you can see lots and lots of ants on this page. They're all kind of just all together on top of each other, crawling all around. An ant colony lives in a nest, but not like a bird's nest. It doesn't live up in the trees, okay? Their nest is down here. Most ants build nests under the ground. An ant nest is full of tunnels. Each tunnel leads to a little room. So these are the little rooms and they build tunnels and all the ants live in little rooms, okay? In their nest. Some ants do not live underground. They live inside hollow thorns, between rocks, in rot rotting trees, and in nests on leaves. Did you know that? It's pretty interesting. This right here, this is Brian Fisher. He is a scientist. He looks for new kinds of ants. Some people call him the ant man. Dr. Fisher has found more than 800 new kinds of ants and he can't wait to find even more. So he's holding something right here and it shows all the different types of ants that he has found. Do you think that he likes to learn about ants? I think he likes to learn about ants because that's what he picked as a job. Yeah, that's pretty interesting that he found so many different types of ants. The queen, this is the queen right here, is the biggest ant in the colony. She lays eggs all day long. So all these little white ovals, 
Those are the ant eggs, okay? The queen lays the eggs. When the eggs hatch, little larvae wriggle out. They look like worms. They eat and eat and eat. Larva turn into pu pu pupa. Pupa do not move. Pupa do not eat. After a few weeks, they turn into adult ants. So they eat and they eat and they eat and they grow and then they become adult ants. Most of the ants in a colony are workers. All worker ants are female. Female means they are girls. So all the worker ants are girls. Inside the nest, some worker ants dig new tunnels. Others take care of the eggs, the larva, and the pupa. So look, this ant right here is taking care of the little larva. It's like what the ants are. Outside of the nest, some worker ants collect food. Others guard the nest. Because do they want anyone to come inside that nest? No. Right? There could be other animals that might want to get into that nest. Because some animals might even eat ants. Right? Yep. Ants with wings. I've seen these before. Oh, those flying ants. A few ants in the colony have wings. Some are females. That's a girl. Some are males. A male is a boy. Ants with wings fly out of the nest and they start new colonies. So they would fly out of the nest and find a new home to build and make with other ants. All right, this page says superhero ants. This ant right here, this guy, is an aqua ant. Aqua ants live in Australia. She can swim, dive, and even live underwater. Did you know that ants could swim and dive and live underwater? Well, the aqua ants can. This one right down here is the big biter. Oh, the big biter is a trap jaw ant. She has the fastest bite in the animal world. Biter can snap her jaw and shut it at the speed of 145 miles an hour. That is so fast. Oh, right here, this guy, this ant, is the hulking Hercules. Hulking Hercules is a bulldog ant. She can lift more than 20 times her body weight. That is a lot of weight. That ant is very strong. And this up here, it says Mama Marvel. Mama Marvel is an African driver ant. She lays 50 million eggs a year. 50 million eggs? Oh my goodness. These ants are amazing. This page says, what's for dinner? Most ant ants catch and eat other insects. See, they're getting some of the aphids off the leaf here. That's something that they would eat. Leaf cutter ants grow their own food. They have fungus gardens inside their nest. So this is a leaf cutter ant and it grows its own food inside its nest. So this is some of the food that they eat inside. Many ants take care of aphids. Aphids are small insects. They make sugary poop that ants like to eat. And the ants think it is mmm yummy. Oh, these ants right here, these are army ants. Army ants hunt for food every day. The colony looks like a moving, munching carpet. Army ants sting and bite everything in their path. They can kill insects, spiders, lizards, and baby birds. Oh my goodness. And they all stay together. Army ants are not the only ants that sting and eat animals. Fire ants have poison that they inject into other insects and animals and even people. It leaves a burning feeling. That's how fire ants got their name. So if a fire ant ever gives you a little nibble, 
it kind of feels a little burning, a little burning. It doesn't feel great. There are more than 280 different kinds of fire ants. Oh my. All right, and then this page says, hooray for ants. Ants are an important part of our world. They are food for other animals. Birds, frogs, and spiders eat ants. So do monkeys and aardvarks. An aardvark, that's a type of animal. Have you ever seen the show um, Arthur? Arthur is an aardvark. As ants dig tunnels, they mix the dirt. Plants grow better in dirt with ants. See, so sometimes ants can be pretty helpful. And then it just shows us a couple of the other pictures that we had. Nice job. All right, well, I hope that you found the book about ants interesting, and I hope that you like the real-life pictures of them, because sometimes when photographers take pictures, they're able to make the, the bugs look bigger so that we can get a closer look at them with our eyes. All right, friends, well, we are all done with that story today, so now it is time to say goodbye. Everybody get your waving hands ready. All right, help me sing. We'll sing, goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, boys and girls. I'll see you a little bit later.